Hi everybody, I hope you guys are all well and happy and having a great week. Okay, so for this particular discussion post, we were supposed to pick out a religion that we had been studying um, and definitely one that was not of our own belief. So um, I picked out the Shakers because I will be truthful, the only thing I knew about Shakers um, because I love antiques is Shaker furniture. And yes, this is a shaker table. It's a style of furniture. They did create a lot of things like this. Um, this, of course, is not from a shaker um, village, but it is after their same style, which invoked simplicity and a, um, a natural look to life. So let's start with the founder of the shaker movement. Now, the founder of the shaker movement was Anne Lee. Here's a little picture of her. Anne Lee was born in England and um, in the 1730s, and not not long after she came of age, of course, she was married to a man. Um, her father married her off to a man that she did not love. She did not want to have children, um, but she did. She went on to have several children, um, tragically, all of which died in um, either in infancy or before the age of six. Um, so she, which, hang on to that thought because that later on comes back into play in the movement, the Shaker movement. Um, so early in the um, 1770s, um, she founded this religion and in 1774 came to the United States with eight other followers with her. And in, in this particular religion, they believe in simplicity um, they believe in natural remedies. They believe in working and striving towards the kingdom of God here on earth. They lived in villages or um, kind of like communes, but not in the weird sense. It was more of more of kind of like how um, over in Israel they have the kibbutz. Um, they the kibbutz are more on a socialistic type idea. Um, where everybody shares the money, everybody, but you still have your own families, you still have your own um, uh, area, so to speak. Um, some of it is communal, but the Shakers actually believed that there's no marriage, no one gets married, no one has children. Um, they believe that men and women were equal in everything. They believe that everyone, no matter what color or where you came from, were also equal. Um, they were probably one of the earliest religions that I can see um, that accepted the Jews um, and looked at the Jews as not a as a not a problem. Um, the Catholics viewed the Jews as a problem. Um, a lot of people did not favorably look on the Jews, and um, so that's what's interesting about about her religion. Now, one of the other aspects of the Shaker religion is um, celibacy, and you can kind of see how that comes back into play with how um, uh, Mother Anne Lee was treated. Um, being married off, not loving the man, not wanting to be married, not wanting to have children, and then having all of her children die, um, that you can see was probably the emotional side to the celibacy part. Um, but in reading some articles and, of course, looking at our book, which references the Shakers and the movement itself, um, they were also pacifistic, and they did not agree with the Revolutionary War. Um, um, they were not the only ones that didn't agree with the war, but they were very pacifistic in their nature. Um, they had many converts. Um, by the time after after the war, they actually had somewhere around 10,000 converts, 10,000 people who were a part of the Shaker religion. Now, um, there's also, when I was looking around, I noticed that the Indians actually had a version of the Shaker religion as well. The they do not tie together, not the same founder. They're on separate coasts. However, they kind of um, have this one thing in common where both of those Shaker religions dealt with the actual act of shaking. So in the Native American side of the Shaker movement, um, 
the leader of that movement, movement um, became very ill one day. His wife went down to the river. She prayed, and during her prayer, she started to shake violently. She goes up and starts shaking over top of her husband and praying and all of these things, and he gets better. Um, so it becomes this outward thing of healing from God is what the Native Americans looked at it as. The Shaker movement on the East Coast of the United States had a different look. Um, and the Shaker movement on the East Coast was, was the first Shaker movement. Um, this, this Shaker movement did involve the actual physical act of shaking, and it was looked at in two different ways. Either you are getting rid of the sin or you are having the, the presence of the Holy the Holy Spirit, basically, or religion coming on you and um, manifestation of that religion. So I looked at a couple of different articles, and I've included them in the write-up for this, so you can check them out as you see fit. Um, most of them are pretty short. Um, the Shakers were a, they were a apocalyptic type group. They were waiting for the second coming of Christ, and in waiting for the second coming of Christ, they viewed their own um, religion as the manifestation of God's kingdom here on earth. So I hope that kind of helps you understand it a little bit. Um, maybe go check out some of the Shaker furniture and some of their um, natural remedies. It's kind of interesting. And um, I'll see you next time.